when we're thinking about cash, we have to think about discounts that we might be offering. Clearly, we want to try to take discounts if we get them. But what about discounts that we're offering? Sales discounts, incentive discounts for people to either buy more, do different things with our products, buy them at certain times. What about sales discounts? What is that doing to cash and profitability of our business? Discounts are probably the easiest way to sell. If I'm a salesperson, the easiest thing that I can do is lower the price. Now, remember our four P's from old marketing, it's price, product, place, and promotion. If we just sit there and decrease price, hey, that's a marketing effort. But sometimes it's going to ruin your profitability. And let me show you how destructive it can actually be. If we take a simple business and we say, we've got revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, SG&A, and net operating income. My revenue is a little bit messy right now. Revenue is at 100. A typical business that we're talking about here, let's call a manufacturing business, Let's say they've got 70 in their cost of goods sold, which means their gross profit is now 30. And in their SG&A, they've got roughly 20, which means their net operating income is now 10. Very simple kind of everyday sort of manufacturing type business. What if we offer a 5% discount to our customers because they're buying in bulk? 5%, right? Not a big deal. All right, wait a minute. There's our five minus five. What's our new cost of goods sold? It hasn't changed. We're still got the same cost of goods sold. What's our new gross profit, however? It's now it's only 25. What's our SG&A? That hasn't changed. That's still at 20. We're now at five in terms of profitability. That is a decrease of 50%. A 50% decrease because you offered a 5% discount. It's incredibly important to understand when you're doing pricing how to alleviate this issue. Now, a lot of industries out there, we have to take discounts. We have to take things like credit cards because credit cards are going to do the same thing. Maybe it's not 5%, maybe it's 2.5%, but it still has a destructive impact on the bottom line. How do we adjust for that? Well, we have to understand that this is a part of our business model. And instead, maybe we take our price from 100 to 106. And now we give our salespeople the opportunity to offer up to a 5% discount. They're not always going to do it, but when they do, we're still at the same levels. The difference is now we're plus 10% in our profitability. Now, it's not simply that easy, but you're always going to be thinking about playing this game. And as long as you know the numbers, you're going to be able to price and discount effectively without running yourself out of business.